A lot of hope around the Toronto Maple Leafs right now. That's been building for the last season and a half, but we're reminded that some great moments have appeared out of nowhere over the last 50 years. Scott Morrison reflects on 1978. Lanny McDonald was known for his great shot, but of all the goals he scored in his Hall of Fame career, the one shot he will never forget wasn't even his hardest. No one believed we had any chance to win one game, let alone four. But for Maple Leafs fans, it remains one of the greatest ever scored in franchise history. And so it should, for what it accomplished and for how he did it. We were going to out-hit, out-muscle uh, the New York Islanders. Everyone thought we were crazy. It was game seven in the 1978 Stanley Cup quarterfinals. The upstart Leafs versus the powerhouse Islanders. A series that was supposed to be a mismatch, but the Leafs wouldn't allow it to be. The Leafs were a team with a handful of stars. Daryl Sittler and McDonald up front. Ian Turnbull was really good on the blue line. They had a cocky kid, Mike Palmentier, in goal. And Captain Video, Roger Nielsen, behind the bench. All the rest were hardworking and really physical. But no one really gave the Leafs a chance against the Islanders, a dynasty in the making. McDonald had struggled to score in the series. Injuries had taken their toll. But like the team, he refused to quit. You think, uh, I've got nothing left? Well, it's amazing how all of a sudden you can go through that door and through that wall and keep going and going. He wore a face mask to protect a nose that had been badly broken twice in a month. And he somehow played through the pain of a fractured bone in his left wrist. He was a sniper with one good hand. But four minutes and 13 seconds into overtime, he scored the winning goal. He scores! And the Leafs win it 2-1 to one and a goal by Lanny McDonald. Even he admitted to being surprised, of being lucky to even have the puck on his stick. But with that goal, McDonald took his place in Leafs lore. With the upset win, the Leafs advanced to the semifinals for the first time since 1967. We find a way to win in overtime. We could have flown that plane home by ourselves. No fuel needed. For the players and the fans, there was finally hope, but it would be fleeting. A couple of seasons later, McDonald was traded by a spiteful general manager. Another spiral had begun. 11 years after his big goal against the Islanders, McDonald would score another big goal, but for a different team, to realize the dream he wanted to live out in Toronto.